This is the walkthrough for the time and crime practical. So when we open the burglaries file you can see a map featuring Europe and the UK and Ireland and if you zoom in and out you can see that it takes a little while to open up and it contains almost every country. This is part of the world topographic map from Esri which is a free layer to download and it contains lots of information at various scales and it can often take quite a long time to load as you can see here. So what we're going to do is have a look and see where the study area is and you can see it's North Wales. So what we'll do now is just zoom to the layer. And to save time zooming in and zooming out, you just need to right click in the data frame anywhere there, click data frame properties, and then in the data frame tab at clip options, change the option for no clipping to clip to shape, click the specify shape button which appears and it will already have selected current visible extent so just press OK with that and then OK again and then you can see if you zoom in and out it only shows you what was in the data frame when you specify the shape so it takes a lot less time to load. Okay so now we've loaded the data you can see that there are a lot of robbers spread all over North Wales and they represent crimes, different crimes. So you can see how many there have been by going to the attributes table and having a look at the total at the bottom, so there's 478. But it doesn't tell us too much just by looking at this what they're about. So if you right click again on burglaries under the table of contents and go to properties, then you can change the symbology from the single symbol here to by categories and change the value field to crime. So that's the category that the symbol is going to be colored by is going to be the crime rather than just using the same symbol for everything. So I'll click OK. And you can see that there are lots of small, small circles around in different colors. But again, it's quite difficult to see. It doesn't tell you much. So open the symbology again. And by clicking the symbol heading, you can change the properties for all symbols. And change the size of the symbol. 10 or 12 should do. Click OK. And it's much easier to see the different kinds. Another way to zoom in on particular places is to set bookmarks. Now there are a couple already set up with this practical. So just go to the bookmarks tab. And we'll go to the first one, the Bala Lake. And that takes us straight to this settlement by the lake here, where you can see a few crimes of the same type. If we go back to the full extent, zoom to layer, then we want to have a look at the spread of these crimes over time. So by looking at the attributes table, we'll be able to see if there are any features there that we could use. So if you make the table bigger and scroll to the right, you can see that there's a burglary date field right at the end and that's got the date set out by month and then day and then year. Okay, so we can use that one. So right click again on burglaries, go to properties and then go to the time tab near the end and click enable time on this layer. The time field will already appear here because it's the only one within the attributes table that can be used. So let's say burglary date. So for now let's just click OK and see what we can work with. And we'll see that all of the data disappear from the data frame. And then we'll use this tool here, the time slider. That's how you can see the change over time. And we'll see there's nothing actually there, nothing happens. And everything has disappeared from the attributes table. We need to correct the data using the convert time field tool. Now you can do that by locating it in the arc toolbox up here, but the quickest way to find the tool is to go to search and type in convert time field. Then press enter and convert time field is the first one that appears. So the input table here is going to be burglaries. That's from the WND folder the crime geodatabase. And the input time field 
is going to be burglary date at the bottom. So the input time format has to match the time format that's in the attributes table. So if you remember that had the month and the day and the year. So choose the one that matches that. And then the locale is going to be the same as English United Kingdom. And then the output time field, that's the, going to be the name of the new time field. And this is going to be the type of field that it's going to be in. So data is the correct one out of those. And we'll press OK. And wait for that tool to finish. When you get the small tick in the corner, you can check it's finished by going to the attributes table again. Scroll along to the end and you've got burglary date converted but there's still nothing here. So now we need to run the add attribute index tool. So we'll search for that in the same way. Add attributes index, press enter, and then it's the only one that's there. So the input table again is gonna be burglaries from the same place. The field that you want to index is the burglary date converted. And we'll give the index a name, just anything because it's optional. OK. Then we'll close the time slider. What we need to do again is go back to time in the properties and change the time field here to burglary date converted. And then press calculate. And it will show the time step interval is 19 days. And then we can press OK. So now if we open the time slider, we need to change the options to start with. Make sure that the time zone is where we are. So it's going to be UTC plus zero. Then we need to change this if we change it to days. So it's going to every section on the time slider is going to be one day. And we press OK, then press play. You can see that the crimes associated with each day appear and disappear. And because it's just day by day, it can take a long time for the time slider to go all the way across. So you can change that in the options. If you change the time step interval to, let's say, 10 days, press play again, then we can see that a lot more crimes are displayed per interval on the time slider. Now, another thing that I'll show you is how to display the data cumulatively. So you go back to the layer properties for burglaries, and then at the bottom it says display data cumulatively. Just tick that box, press OK. And that means that as the time slider progresses, then the data for each day will appear on the map and stay there. So I'll just show you what that means. We press play and you can see that the crimes appear and stay. So that brings us to the end of the practical. Don't forget to have a go at the questions that are on the handout. There's the quiz on Blackboard as well if you have access and also have a go at some of the other practicals too.